Hello, my name is Shuttle and welcome back for another episode of Tutorial 3 as Mexico. In previous episode we managed to puppet uh, Marina Kingdom, or make them a Dominion. And we're going to be puppeting Oromia over here, or Shiva rather, um, now in our next war. British Republic is currently having another civil war, or um, putting down rebellions in some of their puppets rather, or Dominions or whatever have you. It's uh, updated regardless. Uh, we are also getting a lot of electric uh, or electric industries built now, so that's going to allow us to get more radios, which is going to hopefully reduce the cost of our military a bit. Ooh, Kansas found some oil. Kansas, uh, let's have a look. How much do we have in there? 20, okay. I mean, that's not too bad. How's the construction speed in here? Well, there's a lot of turmoil, so not great. We could also build a lot of wheat farms in here, to be fair. At least give it um, permission to auto-expand. And our investment pool is still 32 million. Yeah, I guess we just need to increase our construction speed further. So let's see. Uh, Louisiana could actually get a bit of a boost there. There's not too much um, extra pops in there, but it doesn't hurt. I suppose, actually, if we go through here, is that. That's probably through the buildings. We've got a level 1 already in certain areas. Let's actually have a look. Which areas do not have? Colorado doesn't have one yet. We've definitely built one there. Honduras doesn't have one. Nicaragua doesn't have one. There's not a lot of pops there. Durango doesn't have one. Oh, it's over there. Chihuahua doesn't have one. Baja California doesn't have one yet either. I'm not going to put all of these to the top of the list, but it's just, you know, expanding stuff a, a bit over time. We could maybe give Texas up to 10, Mexico up to 10, uh, up to 5 over there and over there. That is having a bit of a infrastructure issues though. Make sure that the the railway is allowed to expand there. Get another port there and maybe the railway could get another level as well. Well there we go, that should uh, keep the construction busy for a little while. And the innovation is coming along fairly nicely. We could still increase it by another two universities, I reckon. But they are still fearful. I don't blame them, admittedly. And we only got two armies active. But I don't think we'll be needing more. There's no other nations that could join this war. As far as I can tell. I could add in more war goals, to be fair. I'm not going to conquer states. That's uh, not something I can realistically speaking do. I don't really need a treaty port either. So I guess we'll, we'll just go with this, for the time being. Let's see if the National Guard actually goes forward now. Nope. So this is an association, so we can get another 10% chance, or... 5% chance and more qualification. I'm just gonna take the 10%. That'll be fine. So now we've got two-thirds chance of passing here. It's been around 50% for a while now. Oh, France has declared us as a rival. Alright, I mean, we've got a decent army size. Not necessarily quite as large as uh, France, but I think we might actually have better troop quality now. And now everyone's going to be declaring neutralities in here, and our armies have arrived. I guess we could just uh, switch these to be on the offensive from the get-go. That should allow us to... Oh, they are having a bit of a combat in here, but they are actually defending fairly well. And it looks like our GDP... Well, it is going to be hitting 200 million, most likely at least this episode. Uh, if we could get the standard living at least up to 17 soon-ish, that would be brilliant. Although I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I guess we shall find out, but there we go. Well, the war has broken out, and we're already advancing on both of these fronts. This one's a lot faster, admittedly, because there's no general... No, there is actually a general in there. They've got two generals in here, though. I guess we just, you know, start a bit faster on that one for reasons unknown. We've got a double combat, and we're going to be winning both of them. Wow, that. 136 offense. That's pretty decent. This one's only got 88, but that's due to the poor visibility, partially. Yeah, no, this is just... kind of insane, I dare say. Admittedly, there's not a lot of defenders either, so there's like 11 to 1 from the offset. More or less, and they're just, you know, taking more and more casualties there. And I'm guessing, yeah, that one's going down fairly quickly as well. We might get a second battle over here down before we win this one, though. Well, actually, no. I don't think that's going to be the case. I mean, we might start the second battle, but I don't think it's going to be over, at least. But yeah, I think this is going to be quite an easy victory. Now, the idea was that we'll make them a puppet. I don't know if we're going to give them uh, stuff from the wars, though. 
Uh, plastics unlocked. Oh, good, 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 good. We probably have plenty of oil still. If not, then we can probably fix that one way or another. Yeah, we do need a bit of oil after this, but we can produce so much more glass that the glass price is just going to collapse. But at the same time, I suppose one of the things that I could do is just start building more oil. Now, first of all, before we do that, let's have a look at and make sure that the oil that we currently have built is allowed to auto expand. And then what I suppose we'll do is we'll just go through the contraction menu here. Resources, oil rigs, um, earnings. So these are already expanding. Get another five on, well, on all of these that can take five. Alabama is also going to get a little bit extra. Maybe Colorado, Utah. I'm just going to build one oil rig in each place and then just give them the auto expand on all of them. There we go. So that's uh, going to take care of the oil situation most likely. And now we already hit 200 million in GDP, which is quite nice. What is the next thing that we're researching? Pneumatic tools. Okay, so that was the one that increases the uh, hardwood production, among other things. Oh boy. <laughs> we're fighting the prince here. Oh, that's from Gojam. Okay. So it's not actually the prince that is fighting here. So many princes. But yeah, we've got quite a bit of infamy right now. Now, to be fair, one of the things that I could have done is uh, just have them as a dominion and then just give them support so that they could expand on their own and form Ethiopia. That probably would have been the smarter idea, to be fair. But oh well, so. Oh, there we go. Law is finally progress into voting. What's this then? Canadian proletarian revolt versus uh, British Republic and Canada. If they were to offer me some land, I might be willing to join there. Because I don't think they'll be offering me any land, unfortunately, but, you know, would they get independence in this? No, it's just a revolt. Okay, so then, well, they might get their independence from it, actually. Maybe, I'm not entirely sure. In the meanwhile, we've got another quick combat there. At this stage, I'm just going to send the smaller army as a standby, but send back to Dixie. No point in uh, taking attrition of two armies if one army will be just fine. No, we're definitely getting a lot of construction going. We're also getting a lot of livestock ranches now. Which is probably not a bad idea, quite frankly. Oh, lead is seems to be in pretty high demand. Let's uh, have a look at that. Well, I mean, Oaxaca and Mexico are already at max levels. So I suppose Veracruz could be getting some. It's going to build one and all four of those. And let's just go through here and make sure that all of that is allowed to expand. Like so. So how's the... Oh, the investment pool is still growing a lot. Growing by 100,000 per month. Not month, by week even. So we've got 32 million in there waiting. I mean, we've still got about 5.5 million debt. But at the same time, not really that worried about it. Like, we would have up to 71 million. We don't even have near that. So I was not invited into the civil war in here. Although I was leaning towards them. I just didn't have anything to offer me, I guess. But that looks like I come along fairly quickly there. And did we get the construction sectors already, or are they still... Okay, there's uh, some... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them being constructed soon-ish. Admittedly, there's so many places that have a bit of a low uh, construction efficiency due to terrains or turmoil or all sorts of things. Right, I think we've taken a pretty good distance to... Oh, yeah, we've got pretty good distance to Great Jing now in terms of GDP. And we've still got about 30 million between us and Austro Hungary. I do wonder if we could actually surpass them, though. Because we are going to be building a lot faster than they are. They've got a decent standard of living now, 13.3. I mean, it's not quite compared to what we have, of course. But, you know, we're a player. They're not. There we go. So that's one nation out of the war. I'll let them conquer a little bit in there while I just clear out this pocket. So at least we'll have a unified front here. Although, they are conquering a lot in there. I suspect that we might be able to clear out all of this in the next war. Or next uh, combat in there. But we can just keep it going in this way, so we don't need to have two armies in here. And we got the government... Oh, right, yeah, we got a bit of a lack of population in here, that's for sure. I guess, is there anything else that I could do to reduce the worker need? I don't think so. Not a lot, anyway. 
I suppose what about the urban centre? We've got public transportation or trams there. We could maybe go for the auto carriages. Uh, that would actually increase the employment. That would change the employment. I suppose we could at least go for the market squares. Okay, so that should be... Yeah, that's the corner now. So there we go. Now I'm back on the main front here. Supporting the British workers. We'll support the workers in British Republic, boosting the power of their trade unions. Hold on, before I declare or decide on that one, let's have a look. Oh! Military revolt? So who's in power over here? Oh! So they got rural folk and industrialists in power. You know what? There's so many communist revolts uh, around the world already. What's one more? As long as they don't come knocking in my territory, we'll be fine. Uh, we've got another combat in here. We've got a bit of blunder on our side, but I don't think it's going to have much of an impact in here. Defeat admitted. We can get a bit more approval from the industrialists, which already have 10, but I suppose going a bit higher than that doesn't hurt to make sure that we still get the investment pool transfers from... Oh, that's probably one of the reasons why we're getting so much. Let's be honest. We're getting the extra 20% from here. Uh, from the capitalist investment. And we got quite a bit of capitalists, I reckon. I mean, if we want to look at the population... Um... Let's see, which one of these is capitalists? Over there, okay. So we've got a total of uh, 800,000 capitalists. Of course, only 219,000 of that is workforce. There's a lot of dependents, but still, that uh, is a decent size overall. And they certainly give me a lot of money. Right, how about we push these war goals so they will not take the war piece yet. Arar is already out of the war and they, well, they should not have any slavery now anymore, so that's good. Losing a bit of cash right now, but that's probably because we're building all those construction offices now. Or construction sectors. And some uh, administration, but yeah, no. The, these are now coming into the construction queue there. Rather rapidly. Luckily, they're built fairly quickly. So, like, that's not going to have a massive impact on the economy as a whole. Not a negative impact, anyway. And we'll have to take a little bit more credit, but we'll be recovering fairly quickly. As uh, the construction speed increases, we'll be able to get more money out of the investment pool. Which is... Quite massive, I do admit. Looks like um, Shiwa is actually having a bit of a bad time over there trying to attack right now, which is good. Romania mass immigration to California. Alright. So are they willing to take the peace deal yet? Nope. Not yet. Well, we can keep this war going. We only got one army active in here. So there's no problems with that. We've got 76% chance of passing the National Guard. I mean, we've got a pretty good amount of bureaucracy, so that's definitely good news. And that one's going to be another fairly quick victory. I mean, thus far, we've lost less than 100 men. They've lost uh, several thousand. Or a few thousand, at least. So, yeah, that's pretty decent. How's the construction speed? It's already 661. That is definitely increasing here. I think we've got quite a few construction sectors are about to be completed. And a lot of the ones that were built are now hiring the people. So, that should be covering a decent chunk of the extra construction that we can do. I have a feeling, well, still got a decent bit of unrealized taxes, but I guess that's largely due to the fact that we've got a fair bit of turmoil in some places, which is definitely not helping the situation. There we go, we should be able to. Oh, English mass immigration. I do actually wonder, once we have uh, Shiva as a puppet, we'll have a look if we could uh, give them the Somaliland as well. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but we'll have a look if we could transfer a state. And another victory about to happen. Okay, so now we're making a bit of money. Oh, agitation appears. Martin Karen. Um. All right. We're going to enact free trade. I mean, we've got probably a lot of movements, or a lot of people that might want the free trade. To be fair. And there we go. We got National Guard finally. Took a while. So now we'd have even more. Actually, uh, how much is the institution? So it's not too much of an increase in the contribution rate there. That would be 1%, so it's probably like half percent per level in it. Yep, that seems about right. Are they willing to take the peace deal yet? Okay, so... Shiwa would. Gajam, not so much. But, you know, we might just need to move in there and conquer all of it. That's all right. We've got 91 in for me. Hmm. So I was thinking about one point during the previous episode. Uh, that maybe I should uh, try to vassalize Hejaz as well. Just, you know, vassalize places that we've been playing in. But at the same time, I don't think we need to worry about... Oh, did that end the... No, that did not end the war yet. Oh, right, because Shiva's not in the war. And they've still got the other war, though, so I'm just going to give them... 
Oh, I could violate sovereignty. I'm not going to do that. And I can't start bankrolling because relations are so poor. I'm just going to give a bit of a... I'll start improving the relations a bit. And then we'll start bankrolling them. How much would that be? There's about a 4,000 balance per week. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, so at this stage... Uh, I'm going to set terms to white peace. There we go. That war is over. Got a decent bit of stuff constructing there. So let's have a look, actually. Can I... I could grant independence, but I don't think I can actually give them a state. Right, what about if we start targeting Gajam now? Well, I can't... Well, we've got a truce there. Gondra, or Willow, rather. I don't think I can actually give them the stuff, can I? Like, that would be us conquering the state. No, that's not really an option. I could grant them independence, but I don't think that would be really helping with the situation, let's be honest. So unfortunately we can't feed puppets, by the looks of it. Admittedly, our puppet is still in the war. I wonder... They want to humiliate Kaffa, okay. I mean, fair enough, I suppose. How's the infrastructure levels in here? It's good enough. And now at least they are in a pretty good market. So that should help their economy quite a bit. They had... Oh, they got 6.6 .6 million now in GDP. Okay, I mean, that's not too shabby. And we are 211. We've got a contraction speed of 833 right now. All right, I mean, I know that we've had more in some playthroughs, but that's still pretty decent overall, I dare say. Brazilian immigration to Texas. All right, then. Looks like the oil rigs are in... I, mean, I don't think we need to actually subsidize these. That'll be fine without us. We've got quite a few, a few levels being built there. There's so many people exiled. Ooh, we're now number seven worldwide in the standard of living. Let's have a look at the literature a little bit. So, who's above us? Ecuador is still above us. There's still Finland, Parma, Uruzhu, uh, Surakatra, and Bulungan. And that's all of them. Bulungan is a Portuguese one. Ah. Of course, in GDP, we've got still a 33 million difference between us and Ultra Hungary, but we are getting closer and closer to their prestige numbers, I think. The difference is still about a 400, admittedly. But with our GDP growing as much as it has been. And I suppose one of the things that I could still do is just recruit more troops as well. Get another uh, 10 in Texas, for example. That's, oh, actually, we could probably recruit some in Alabama as well. Get another 9 there. We'll get pretty decent numbers overall. So we could... Well, actually, no, I don't think we're going to do another war in here without risking... A lot of wars from outside. So we'll try to keep the infamy at least below 100. Probably not much less than 100 to be fair. But I do wonder, is there... I don't think there's a way for me to provide any states to them. It's a bit of a shame. I was hoping to sort of just feed them stuff so they could form the Ethiopia themselves. But I guess that's not going to happen. And admittedly what I could probably do... Is if I grant them independence, could I then still keep them in the market? Maybe, but that, even just being in our market, that would help them drastically, I reckon. Oh well, I'm not going to stress about that though. It looks like our relations with Marina Kingdom are coming along quite nicely. Getting 7% per day of a point, so that does help. Well, they got 6 million GDP. They had a bit of a collapse there with the war. But after that, they've been... Oh, they bounced back. They, it hasn't really grown too much beyond that. They're still an absolute monarchy. And they have declared bankruptcy, well, during the war, I guess. Which is definitely not helping them. But the fact that we are giving them a bit of um, bankrolling definitely is giving them a bit of a hand, at least. Oh! Is Britain having a war against France? One of these uh, things that they're in, maybe. Probably easy to check from the French side of things. Okay, it's not the Uruguay War. Oman Peasant Revolt. Oh, and French Republic versus uh, British Re Republic and Oman. Okay. There's a bit of fighting in here. Oh, yeah, the French Republic does have part of uh, Yemen. Yeah, I really think that there should be some sort of way to, to uh, sell lands or something. Ooh, I could do expedition to Antarctic. You know what? Sure. Probably not going to go well. Let's see. Which one of these would be the ideal? That's a Commodore? Is this an Naval Commander Explorer? You are Explorer. 
What about that one? That's not an explorer. That is brave one. And that's... You know what? We'll send the explorer in there. That's going to cost us a lot of money. But you know, I haven't done uh, the Antarctic expeditions yet. I've done a lot of the others, but not the Antarctic. And the amount of construction that we do... We've only got 34 weeks of uh, construction queue right now. Hmm. Great ice barrier. As the expedition ships turn to the side, the crew witness in or a high perpendicular face of ice their own entrance to the continent. We must climb it. Uh, or we should make a detour around the fissures. We'll make a detour. And we've got 16.7 standard of living, so it's slowly growing, but it could be a lot better, admittedly. So how's the market doing? I uh, still need a lot of fine arts, lead, radios, engines, electricity, transportation. It's needed a lot. Telephones is also needed. Oh, right. Uh, Rio Grande is needing a bit of a... Uh, well, they are getting a railway there already. I'm going to build a port there just in case as well. And then let's double check the engine or motor interests in here. It is quite... Oh, actually, it doesn't need subsidies anymore. It needed them at one point or another, but not anymore, that's for sure. Atrocers are pretty decent in there. Now, we had the second... Yeah, we got a motor interest over here in Guatemala, and that's also doing quite nicely. That's the... Yeah, there's plenty of infrastructure. There's a lot of turmoil, though. Causing a bit of tax waste and all that. Which is not great, I do admit. Oh, there we go. We're number one in Great Power, so that... Oh, hello, Canada. We got a truce with Britain. Hmm. If I was to do a war against you, who would join? There's not that many people that could join. Of course, there's a very high risk that we'll be taking a lot of infamy here. In fact, there would be so much infamy that it would cause other nations to probably start declaring war on us. But maybe we could do that. Get a lot of truces, away, perhaps, with some nations as well. And then, of course, America, we will have a war against you soon enough as well. Or could have a war against you soon enough. I guess what we could do is just take over a lot of Canada. At least start with, like, um, Yukon territories and Northwest territories. Alberta and Saskatchewan. So that would give us a decent chunk of Canada. Maybe we could even get to Manitoba and Nunavut. Well, that would be a pretty decent idea, I say. And after that, we could do the war against the USA, perhaps. So one of the things that we'll probably need in this uh, endeavor is a lot more troops. How is the... Okay, we got a little bit extra in Dixie. Not too much, though, but I suppose we did put in quite a few barracks to be built in there, but they have yet to be built. It's not the Canada War that I'm too worried about in terms of military size, to be fair. What I'm a little bit concerned about is uh, the war against uh, a lot of potential other enemies that we might sort of uh, attract with the actions there. So I'll be increasing the army sizes a lot in Mexico, at least. Also, we could probably get another few naval bases in here. But anyway, we've got the one of the admirals currently busy. Hey, expedition proceed uh, with that incident there. That's quite nice. Council of probably Prussia. All right, so somehow there's like, I don't know, probably a third of, of the world is currently a uh, communist. That's a bit of a uh, concern. I mean, didn't Canada also... Well, no, the Democratic Republic. They do have the trade unions definitely in power, though. But they're not communist per se. Not yet, at least. Although, give, give them some time. I'm sure that they'll find, figure out a way. But 215... Oh, right, because Austria is having a revolution, right? Yeah, so that reduces their GDP drastically. Also, the prestige drastically. So we are number one in GDP and prestige right now. But I suppose what we could do at this stage is was put in a lot of extra troops to be built uh the economy might not be quite capable of doing a, a full-blown war against multiple nations but what we'll do is uh, we'll start with uh i did say uh, the yukon territory is the one that we want to start with they do have a decent bit of troops but it's not too bad there's a lot of infamy which means that there's a good chance that there will be other nations joining. They are fearful, though. So what we're going to do is we are going to activate the big army from here. Mobilize that. Put it on the offensive. I'm sure that my troops are better quality than what the Canadians have. Uh, they've got trench infantry, siege artillery, bicycle messengers, no specialist companies. So we got a little bit better, at least. Plus, we've got the numbers advantage, at least on this war. It might not be the case in a lot of others. Oh... 
We're still trying to improve relations with France, you know what? But we're improving the relations with France, and we could maybe even rival them at this stage. They're probably busy with other things anyway. There we go, we can get a little bit of the influence back. Russia expelled our diplomats. Well, that's not a surprise there. Uh, so who... Oh, France is leading towards them. They got 300 battalions. How much do they have, or what is the quality of their troops? This might be a big war. They got the motorized reconnaissance, but we've got the... Um, better infantry, so I think we'll still be fine overall. Which is potentially... Quite a um, large war that we might be facing here. So what do they have? Uh, Liberate Oregon and Liberate Deseret. So that's Utah. Disappearing interest in Crown Colombia and the Andes. Oh, is Ecuador? Oh, Ecuador's switch the market and Venezuela switched the market. Right, so everyone's abandoning my market here. Uh, how bad is the... We need a lot more fruits. Okay, well that's something I could quite easily get a few extra in here. Maybe some over there as well. So the market is kind of uh, disappearing now underneath us, but that's all right. Canada has embargoing us. All right then. Scandinavia declared rivalry. Russia declared rivalry. Well, I too can play that game. There we go. And I suppose one of the things I should probably do is uh, remove... Well, actually, still making a lot of money from the silk trade. I could stop the trade with France, though. That's going to save us a lot more in oil prices. You know, if they rival me. Expression spots uh, the twin volcanic peaks of uh, Erebus and Terra on the horizon. And they were first discovered by James uh, Clark Ross. Erebus was supposed to be in eruption. Thankfully, we find the mountains at peace. We should move in quickly, so we're going to make minor progress. Collect geological samples. Um, either minor peril or minor progress and some prestige and popularity. Or we could ascend the mountain. There's a major peril. I think we're going to collect some geological samples. Low peril right now, so that's good. Venezuela abandoned us in the war here. No one's joined yet, though. Well, I, I suppose they couldn't join before now. They only got 30 maneuvers, so I can only expect, like, maybe one nation to join. So I think we'll, this war will be fine. Uh, admittedly, this war will also have to happen in the next episode, because we are unfortunately out of time for this one. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, the other links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, bye-bye.